got Chunky! Chunky! No! All right, guys, we are at Berkshire Valley Golf Club today. Look at these views. <laughs> views for days. <laughs> Who needs a drone today? You can stand up here. But anyway, we're gonna go back and kind of replay one of our favorite videos ever, the Stealing Clubs Challenge. But here's what's funny, Mike. Last time, we did it wrong. We did it wrong. And it was suggested <laughs> by you guys. And what we did last time is each time we play match play, and each time someone won a hole, they got to steal a club from the other guy's bag. Mm -hmm. And let's just say uh, it got really difficult really quick. I'm not oh, gonna tell you who won. Mm -hmm. I'd love for you guys to go back, check out, watch that video, because we had a lot of fun with it re either way. But we're gonna go back, we're gonna play it the right way this time. Okay. <laughs> so what do you say? This is what we'll do. We'll do, we'll do 18 hole match play. Mm -hmm. uh, if you lose a hole, Mm -hmm. You get to steal a club out of the other guy's bag. Makes sense. Try okay. to get yourself back into the game. Even the score a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, so if you, that's what happens. Or you can steal one of your clubs back if it's been stolen. I like that. All right. Okay. And this is what we'll do. We will uh, do the COVID, the right COVID-19 things. We're not supposed to be touching each other's equipment. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will just take a club out of play. Got it. Unlike last time when we were actually ripping it out of the bag. Perfect. This time it'll just be taken out of play. So, uh, those are the rules. You lose, like I said, if you lose a hole, you get to take a club out of the other guy's bag. He's got to play with one less club, or you can try to win one of your clubs back, and then we'll play straight up match play other than that. And no putters, right? No, no, we, yes, <laughs> good point. Just like last time, you can't steal putters because we find that the wheels come off pretty quickly when that happens. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So we got a beautiful course here. You've played it, I have not. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, we'll see if that's a little bit of an advantage. Let's well, take it elevated, man, so let's go. Let's go. It's beautiful. Good swing, got his hips through. Man, there's nothing like lush fairways out here, huh? Super got a little lush, bounce right? to them. Yeah, Super lush. yeah, I like it. I've got a long way home here, and I don't even have the warm up muscles to go with a uh, a six iron, which would be normal. I'm gonna go four iron. Makes it easy. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. He's playing smart already. <laughs> nice I, easy I four flew, iron. I might have flew it. We'll see. Give him that. That's great. Woo. All right, second hole here, and we're faced with quite a long par three. My shot scope here has it at 234 to the middle, and we're playing the blues. The this black the number. Hardest, hardest par three, I think, in Jersey. This is a tough one. The, the black <laughs> back there is about 250 shot. Yeah. So this is a long one. Reminds me of Pound Ridge a bit. Yep, exactly. Um, but I got to see, what do I want to take from you? Ugh. You hit that four, you felt a little comfortable with that, and but you said take my four. So let's uh let's go with let's just take the five. Like okay. just something right in the middle of the bag, just make you think a little bit early on. I'm gonna take the five out and then I gotta see what I'm gonna hit here. I think I'm gonna hit a hybrid. I'm gonna hit a hybrid here. Yeah. Hey, don't don't take too many steps backwards. Yeah, right? Get it. Oh, I would have been so happy with a par on this hole. I'll still take the hole. You got the hole. But I would have been happy with a par on this hole. Tough hole. Can you believe it's the uh, third hole and we haven't hit a driver yet? I don't think I'm going to hit it here either. On a par five, 500 oh, no, yards? Man. With my miss, it is all trouble down the right side of this. So. so well, you got to, you know, I won that hole, so you get to steal something back. We're even in the match, and you get to steal something. Steal one of mine or take your five iron I'm back? I'm thinking about it. 509. I'm going to take your driver. Take my driver. Okay. okay. Out of play. Even in the score here, because he's not going driver on this hole. All right, so if it's a mental game play, you've already taken, your strategy is working because you know I don't hit this three wood well. Mm -hmm. And you took the driver <laughs> out of my hands. So you will laugh. So, um, I don't know. Just gonna try to play a safe play, put it in the fairway, make this a three shot hole. Yeah, dude, I don't know what kind of hot yoga you've been doing, but it's working. Actually, maybe a little bit of a baby draw. You 
doing now one up through uh, three holes. Okay, so you okay. get to take one back, right? I can take one now. Now, right now, your five iron is out of play because I took it out yep. of play, and my driver is out of play. Mm -hmm. So I can either take one of your clubs or take my driver back. Ooh, good That's question. It's your scoring club, isn't it? That driver. Sometimes, sometimes when I can turn. You know what? Let's uh, let's take. I gotta take a look. I gotta take a gander at these wedges. Hold on. I got a feeling here. Let's just let's take the 52 out of play because <laughs> you've been killing me around the greens. Uh, any of my wedges. And I'll leave my driver out. So you got no five iron. You got no 52, but you're up one. Okay. Look at this. He hit the three wood so well. That He's gonna hit it again. I'm gonna hit it again. It's not that I don't trust the driver. It's a short four here. It's like 350. So if I can hit this. 250 or 230, then it should be just a, a wedge that I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta start thinking backwards from the hole oh, now. No, I gotta go backwards. That's all right. Maybe we'll take a little bit more off this so I can hit a uh, 48. Wow. Maybe you should just stick with that. Three I think way. I'm just gonna use it everywhere I go in life. There you go. Better swing. Yeah, that should have. Stay out of that bunker though. Catch that fairway right there. All right, so Frank just picked one different wedge. If he went with the 60, I would have been in trouble here. If I was here, I was screwed. But thankfully, I got it passed. So now I can use my 60. Hope to get it home. Ah, I got chunky! Oh, chunky! This is like a, uh, it's a 10 ounce New York strip. Maybe an eight ounce steak. All right, so I know we are only a, a couple holes in, but Mike's now up two, and uh, he is playing well today, especially around the greens. Try to take him out of his game by taking that 52 away, but his putter is hot, and I can't take that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take his three wood <laughs> and force him to either hit the driver or hit something less. And strategy hole here, Mike, because this is a short, Par four, 320 yards, but there's a ton of trouble out not too far as he throws. They throw the, the grass right on you. Wow, grass we got in the strong wind too. To our, at our back, yep. I'm gonna tell you what, you got 239 to the junk and it's less than that number because you're elevated. So I'm gonna say about 220 brings that trouble into play. If you wanna take it over all that trouble. Yeah, what do you think? 287. Really, just to clear it? Just to clear, if you wanted to clear everything. Which with the wind and the elevation, probably like a 270. Yeah, and, but now remember, over that is not fairway, it's more rough. If you want fairway, your fairway effectively ends- That's a 200 shot. At maybe. 235 yards. Right. Yep. Wow, you're striking the ball today, dude. Feels good. You're striking it. Good ball, sit, sit right there. Sit is right. Sit right there, you'll be okay. You're fine. There, Eric, stop. There's no doubt I'm turning better than last week, but yeah, no just doubt. not all of it yet. I'm in a bunker. Oh! <laughs> At least the, see that? the lip has now gotten one back from It's me gotten one back. Versus taking them all away from oh. All right, I'm definitely going with the three wood back because we have a par five on the next hole. Okay. I don't need the 52 on this hole because it's a 135 yard shot. Um, so if I just get it down there, it's 60 degree around the around the green. So yeah, three wood. Okay. impressed with this course, Mike. You know what it kind of reminds me of? London Lynx. Oh yeah. Out Which, in Scotland. I think we were there today, one year ago. Whoa. That's weird. Mind blowing, I think you're right. June 7th. Yeah. You're right. Wow, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> 
But it really does remind me of London Lynx where you have all those holes that were up high and then we worked our way back down. Now, of course, there's no ocean, but there's plenty of lakes out there. And I'll tell you what, the weather was almost the same. It was a 70 degree, beautiful, sunny day. You didn't get that one patch of dark, ominous clouds yet though. It's coming. Now it's coming, <laughs> now it's coming. First use today, hole seven. You're gonna be okay over there. It's all, all a big hill and it should be in play. Go 126 front, 135 middle, and I'll tell you what, it's my fault for not hitting fairways, but I haven't seen a flat lie yet. All right, I'll tell you what, I think we're gonna hit the, uh, the pitching wedge here and just try to get it somewhere in the middle of the green. See if I can get this remotely close, okay? What are the chances that I get this within four feet? Take a look at that. All right, so give me a comment below. Does, do I hit this within four feet? Okay. Bets are made. Here we go. That's gone. It's gone. Hit the pin. Hit the pin. Stop. Four feet, five feet, six feet, seven feet, eight feet. Close. What's with the edges? What's the edges, Jesus! Come on! They don't like us, these edges. I thought that was gonna be a scrappy par. Mm. Mm. Still get the hold up. So you can now either take one, another one of my clubs or take one of yours back. Hmm. I am going to take your 52 degree. Okay, he knows I chip with that. Yeah, man. I mean, this is the problem when they know your game too well. Okay, and I still have no driver. Pretty hole here, though. We'll be all right. Frank, what's my ruling here if my ball lands by a turtle? Is that a uh, free That's drop? your new ball marker. Is that my new, <laughs> is there a rule here? This is Mike's new ball marker. Hey, little guy, you're a long way from home. So, uh, maybe we get you back there somehow. Come on, bud. Can you move out of my way? Please? Please? This thing's moving slow. No, don't go in there. I tried to get cute with it. Pit placement's ridiculous. So, what's really interesting here at Berkshire is that it's really, it's a tale of two nines. So the first nine, way up high, beautiful views, you work your way kind of just straight out and straight back. And then the back nine meander their way down here low, which you could see from up there, around all of this water. So where water didn't really play too much of a, a role in the first nine, now it's gonna be the story. So pretty holes here, again, shot makers holes. Uh, really, like I said, a tale of two different nines here. Now, ninth hole, I'm one up. And Mike, what's your decision? I'll take my 52 back. I knew he loves that 52. Yep, I need that back in my bag. I gotta earn mine back too. Mm -hmm. What do you think, was it in? I think we give it to you. I think, you know, the little styrofoam is in that in that cup, so I think it went and it came out. So let's give it to you, let's push the hole. Good man, appreciate right. that. Right. Especially after our last one hole challenge when everyone said that my putt should have been in.
right, so Mike got me there. I pushed my tee shot too far right, and it didn't quite carry it. Mike played that hole well, so he's got one. And I think what I'm gonna do here, you've got my driver and my 52, Mike, so far. Just a quick status update. I only have your five iron. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna take my 52 back because I'm just not, a, I'm not the same yeah. man around the greens without it. Oh, a little chunky. Thank God it's a short hole. 200 yard shot sets you up with a nice little wedge into this green. So, in five iron. Wow. All I wanted to do. Straight out there. And I decelerated through it. Okay, I got one back. I mean, all you have is my five iron. I don't need it, I don't think, for the foreseeable future. So I'm gonna take back your 52 again. He loves to take <laughs> me out of his, my comfort Exactly, zone. I mean, come on. Be their best shot of the year. Might be. You know, just smooth and compressed. Three wood, baby. Who needs driver when you hit a three wood like that? I'm selling it for sale. Never. Never. Oh, oh don't push it that way. Look for this way. No splash. It was high and nasty, but it wasn't straight. It was over the water. Alright, I cleared it. So. We got a shot. It's not ideal. I got 187, 211. Jeez, it's a long way home. All right, I think I'm gonna get one back. Tucked it nice and close. Putting for par here. Frank had a little bit of issues on the right side over there. I don't think he's gonna be in this hole, so I might be going back up one. What are you gonna go for with? Driver. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm not gonna steal it, just cause I wanna see him go for it. All right. I'm gonna steal your 52. Okay. Cause I know you like to chip with it. Wow, well, you hit the stinger. Hit the stinger. <laughs> Secret strategy. I knew he'd overswing it because he always goes for these par fours. So I let him keep it. Oh, I scalded. Might be the best three wood I've ever hit, which is kind of funny because, like I said in the beginning of the round, I don't hit my three wood well. Well, being forced to hit it this whole time has actually been great practice for me. But anyway, with no 52, like I said, that's my chipping club. I'm going to putt this. Wow, that was rough. It's it's very slow up there. All day. We're at par five. You have no driver, so let's also take your three wood. Let's force you to make this hole as long as humanly possible. Huh? I'm taking all my distance away. <laughs> good ball. Good contact. Great ball, man. It's out there. Chip with my 60. <laughs> Here it goes. Here it goes. Go. A little bit more. Oh, you're tough. All right, so I gotta take a club from you. As much as I want to get my 52 back, 
I'm slowly adjusting. Uh -huh. So what I'm gonna do is I've got your 52. I'm gonna take your 60. It's the smartest play. You can I'm do. trying to take all of his. I'm screwed now. His ammo. Inside. Bunkers. Because he's beating me up around the greens with this. He's just the short game. Oh, man. So I gotta take a 52, 60, and try to get a hole back. That was a stupid bad read right there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick with this theme and I'm gonna do the Vokey sweep. Take all the wedges. I'm gonna take all your wedges. I'm gonna take your 48 too. What so am I gonna do around the greens? Now we're gonna do left and I wanna see you get in a bunker too because I see a lot of bunkers up there. All right. So par four, so just about 400 yard par four with some carry here off the tee. I have no driver or three wood so I have to hit a hybrid here. You're gonna hit the three wood. Let's see. Perfect. Hey, but that's what I like about these uh, these challenges. They force you to really work on your mental game, and that was a huge mental mistake. It's an it's an unforced error. All right, Frank thought he was cute doing the Vokey sweep, but when you hit your green in regulation. From out there, you don't have to rely on any wedges around the green. So I said to myself, get on the green here with Frank hitting three after going in the water. I just have to get a par here and I'm probably gonna take this thing. So birdie putt. Look at the undulations in this in this green. You go down this hill up to another tier. I mean you see that theme throughout here. I just love this course. I love it. I love just being in this like valley. Hence Berkshire Valley. <laughs> now he's just getting cocky, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Now he's just getting cocky. Good match. Very good match. Dude, that was fun. I'll tell you what. I saw uh, COVID. <laughs> you know what? I knew early on that you, you were going to get me. You're just pure in it today, man. Good, yeah, it good felt round. Good. It felt good, thanks. Even, even like, if I took all your Vokies, it didn't yeah, matter. I don't think it mattered, you know? Contact was good, like you said. It was compressing the ball better. Tempo was better. It's a beautiful day out, so what else can you ask for? I am now 0 for 2 in these Stealing Club challenges. Mm -hmm. But tell us, guys, what did you like? Did you like this format better, where we played the loser steals the club, or did you like the winner? Go back and check out that video. We had fun. Check out Berkshire Valley. I tell you what, it's only a half hour from my house. I'm going to be back here. Dude, I'm a big fan of this course and a lot of the other Billy Casper designs. So check those out. Go to Billy Casper Golf. See all the courses. I think it's countrywide, uh, if, if I'm not uh, mistaken. But yeah. definitely check them out. We have a lot to, to check out yeah. on the list. Beautiful course, beautiful weather, fun challenge. Like I said, yeah. good one. Thanks, man. And you I'll beat me. Right you now. beat me straight, fair and square on that one. No, no clubs I can take from you today. Yeah. Hey, good I, round. I like version two better because yeah. it keeps you in it. That's right. Thanks, guys.